This episode of DoD TV is brought to you by HHA Sports, leading the industry in single pin technology for the past 14 years. Range, dial, shoot. All right, so we're out here in St. Charles today. We're setting up my brand new Matthews BXR 28. I'm with Mike and Cameron from Mike's Archery in St. Charles, Missouri. And these guys not only know all bows, but they really know Matthews bows. So what we're gonna do here today is he's gonna help us figure out exactly how we sight in this HHA single pin sight. So what's your best tip for this thing? So this is one of my favorite setups, the Matthews bow with the HHA sight. We've sold hundreds of them. They work very well. This is one of the best ones on the market that I've seen. They're solid. We've got a good track record with HHA. Very, very little problems. Easy to set up. You can go on their YouTube channel. But what I like is the dial. <clears throat> you sight it in at 20 and 60, put the tape on, bam, you're done. You know, it shouldn't take us long at all. It's got the uh, rheostat so you can control the brightness of the pins. Yeah. For my older eyes, that makes a big difference. Like today we're in the sun, we'll dial it down dim, it won't halo on you, but hunting, pop that thing on out. But yeah, this is by far one of my favorite setups. Matt McPherson puts a lot of thought into all his bows. Uh, we've got a ton of weight on the bottom here. Yeah. So what that does is pull that front end up so it's much easier to aim the bow. Okay. You don't have to really concentrate on the level. The bow actually pulls itself up with all this weight down here. The uh, integrated limb legs, that thing's phenomenal. You can set the bow down. Usually yeah. we're dropping them here in the gravel yeah. and they're getting all scratched up. That's, that's one of the neatest things we've seen in a while. Just an awesome shooting bow. You know, it's got the versatile mod, so you can change the poundage pretty easy. If you want to shoot 60 here in Missouri, head out west, you can shoot 75 in an elk if you'd like. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm looking forward to uh, going through the motions with you guys here today and finally getting the HHA sighted in so I could start shooting the further distances. Up until now, I've shot a couple hundred arrows, but it's just been at 20 and just trying to get the motion, get, I guess, what, do the strings? Get the strings to seat, get yeah. the bow kind of just to seat in. Yeah. All right, well, I guess without further ado, let's get rolling. Fling some arrows. All righty. All right, I feel good. All right, so you took me through the whole process. We started at 20 and we kind of worked our way back to 60. How do, how do you think everything went? Oh, very, very well. Um, the bow shoot's phenomenal. You shoot good. What, we have a two inch group at 60 yards? Yeah. Um, yeah, we know the site's gonna work. We know it's all gonna fall right in place. Um, real easy setup. Just kind of walked our way back, came back up just to verify. Um, you know, typical HHA, typical Matthews. So the last step that we still have yet to take, so at 60, there was a marker on here, what was it, 50 and a half? 50 and a half. At 60 yards. So that tells you there's a set of stickers that have different numbers in the HHA packaging. So you find that sticker for that number and that will go on here. Yeah, we're just gonna throw tape number 50 on there. We're gonna put 20 where zero is. It just wraps right around, then it's all set. Okay, so last step, that's all we gotta do, and then we're set. Very good, well, I appreciate you guys taking the time to take me through it all, and um, we look forward to the fall. No problem, yeah, we're getting some pictures in, seeing some big ones. I've got two that I've got my eye on already. As you can tell, we're all sweating like we're sitting in hell today. So yes. it's that time of year where we're putting out trail cameras, we're getting in food plots, and we're waiting for cooler weather. Good luck to everybody this fall. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DoD TV was brought to you by Leopold.